of Ryan Joseph. So I've been going over to this girl's house every night, and I'm starting to feel like I should tell her. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get why people get freaked out about their parent, hearing their parents have sex. It's way worse when they like make you open your eyes. <laughs> so my best friend's pregnant because she got raped and she wants to know, she called me if I think she should have the kid. And I'm like, what are you, what are you gonna say to that? Like, my bad? <laughs> you know? I got robbed, and the first thing like my racist father said was like, well, were they Hispanic or black? I'm like, Dad, I don't know. That's why I told the cops they were black. <laughs> my girlfriend and I both come from a broken home. I don't talk about my shit that much, but she just can't stop talking about what mom did to us. <laughs> Ryan Joseph, ending it. Right before the bear. Traveled a long way for this. Did you drive from Los Angeles to Austin or fly or what? No, it was like 70 bucks. Just, just so easy to get here. Absolutely. Round trip, 70 bucks, like on Delta. There you and go. they like, like space it out so you don't have to be next to people. What do you love about Austin? You've been here for what, a couple days? I've been here for like four days. Just been doing shows. There's freedom. Although you guys are still wearing masks, dude. There's still pussies out here. Whoa, such a weird backhanded compliment the there. I, I don't know. Yeah, I thought there's freedom here. I mean, you guys have shows, but I don't know why everyone's wearing a mask. Yeah, they have free, the freedom to choose whether to wear a mask or not, you fucking nimrod. I think he's one of these guys that d thinks that I'm Corona doesn't exist. I'm anti-mask. You, you don't I'm think an Corona exists. Like, you're an anti... Well, yeah, the flu does exist. It's a virus. Oh, the flu, yeah. You That's don't, you don't think is. there's actually a, a coronavirus? It's a virus... It's n never going away. Have you, uh, have you had it? No. <laughs> guys, does oh. anyone here have corona that he could spit in this guy's mouth, please? Do it. I don't Yeah, tell people how to do that. <laughs> we shut the, all right. If you guys think that's great that we shut down the world for nothing, I'm sorry. Wow, Ryan. What other, uh, what other wild conspiracies uh, do you have up your sleeve? Uh, everyone's, like, mad at me now. Yeah, because you're being a fucking dumbass. <laughs> I, Ooh, Red I, Band's really mad I mean, at seriously. You. Like he's the, high <laughs> risk for coronavirus, so he's really offended right no, now. No, I mean, Dude. like, I think we've all had people that have died from corona in our families. I, I you that, have? Yes. Really? Yes. My cousin's girlfriend died, 18, <laughs> uh, head of the, the swimming, like, she was, like, perfect health and died. Wow. She was perfect That's, health and died. Yeah. So That's wild. Wow. A, now, wow. there, now there's I, a I guy should, mad at you, oh, right? now there's so somebody else mad at you. I should Great. give up. Oh, I'm lying get, about it. Yeah, that's what I do. Well, well, he's in right. lying about dead his, people. Let's he, just relax about the dead people rant that we're going he, on I'm here. I'm sorry wait, to wait, offend he, you. I just don't he, think. All right. He's entitled to his opinion, isn't he? No, it's America. Is this not America? It's not America. Where am I? Where the fuck am I? With a female referee. That's where the fuck I am. That's right. So Ryan, tell us about uh, tell us about your uh, your experiences here in Texas while not insulting the entire audience at once. Uh, it's been pretty cool, man. Like doing shows all the time. I love it. What else other than shows? Um, what else have you done in Texas? Just staying in my hotel room and like you know masturbating. Okay, so you famously uh, had a crazy girlfriend. Uh, for the li long-time listeners of this show or for the consistent listeners of this show, Ryan became very popular during the pandemic episodes as a great joke writer, obviously, brand new minute every single week. But then we would find out more and more. We would get updates about this crazy ex-girlfriend of his. Yeah. And uh, so what's the new update? Is there any update? I haven't talked to her in a while, but the girl that I fucked to get back at her, she found out I have a new girlfriend and she started reaching out to like, she was like, oh, this is why you didn't want to be with me. And she started messaging random girls on my Instagram. And so, so I blocked my new girlfriend just to find out if, how to block this bitch. And then my new girlfriend was like, why'd you block me? And then she found out that I've been lying to her. I've been lying to her, my new girlfriend a lot. So I'm in trouble. Right. Okay. Wow, I guess that's a story. 
what else, Ryan? What else has been happening since the last time you were on this show? Um, not much, Tony. Just doing mics. Um, Any drugs? Drugs, yes. I'm addicted to an Eastern drug called modafinil. Wow, tell us more about modafinil. I think everybody here would love it. What is it? What, Dude, it's not what type of Eastern drug? You mean East of the 35? I order it from India. I order it from India. They're great people. Okay, so you like Indians but not Texans. That's good. I like you guys. I do. I don't like mass. I'm sorry for having feelings about stuff. It's all right. It's okay, yeah, Ryan. This could not possibly be any more depressing. When did you get on the meda- what is it? Medafidil? It's a smart drug. It's not. But go ahead. It this is. is your worst performance <laughs> ever in the history of the show. So I don't know how it is. smart of a it, drug that you could is. possibly be on. It's a new tropic. It's not a... smart enough to not tell Texans that wearing masks that they're all pussies for wearing masks at the top of your interview. Well, it's just how I feel, but I'm sorry for saying that. So but... tell us about Okay, got it. But so tell us about the mm-hmm. effects. What does this drug do for you? Dude, like Obama was taking it, Hillary Clinton. That's why I'm so progressive. Oh, Hillary Clinton. Damn. Okay, what it does is it they they prescribe it, they prescribe it to like narcolepsy patients, right? Uh huh. But they use it off label, like in um, Silicon Valley CEOs, and it just makes you like a genius. Yeah. Th- did it make you a genius? Obviously. <laughs> what w- what type of genius decisions have you been making in life since being on? Well, the- I'm still on um, ac- uh, paid administrative leave from my job because they found out I, I write the jokes that I write and they're investigating me. Yeah, that was before Modafinil. No, that was that was with Modafinil. Wow, so you lost a job on this awesome drug. No, I get paid for doing <laughs> nothing. I'm, I'm, obviously, yeah. I'm obviously doing something right. They're How long have you right been now. doing it for? Uh, probably for like a couple years. Really? You yeah. just get it shipped to you. Yeah, you can get it shipped to you. From India? Yeah. Okay. It's, it doesn't get you high. It doesn't. It just like... How does it make you feel? It makes you feel like awake. Uh-huh. It gives you energy? Uh, yeah. So it's not like a drug? No. D- but it gives you energy? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's different. It's just like you feel like awake. So- sounds it doesn't get you high. S- sounds confusing to me. Pe- people don't know about it, but it's great. Because they're hiding it. Yeah. Yeah. Why are they hiding it? Because they don't want everyone to be that smart. <laughs> <laughs> this is my last appearance on Kill Tony, everyone. Wow. Oh, look at you retiring before no. we tell you to not I, come I already, back. I already know it is. This is the guy I that quits while being fired. You know I what? You can't fire me because I quit. I, I already know it is, so whatever. Wow. Yeah. Have you been depressed lately? Dude, like, I do have a new girlfriend, and my fucking ex-girlfriend ruined it by, like, calling her and telling her what a liar I am. How did she get her number? Well, she didn't. It was because I blocked her, my new girlfriend. And so my new girlfriend was like, what the fuck are you blocking me for? What's going on? And she's smart. Um, and yeah. She, and, and when you say she's smart, is she Modafidel smart? No, 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 no. She's smarter than me. She's smarter than me. She keeps me grounded, as you can tell. Yeah, absolutely. But sure. um, no, so then I had to tell her everything because I was sleeping with both of them at the same time. Oh, yeah. But yeah. there you go. I wasn't exclusive, though. I wasn't ex- I this basically I did what the Dominican girl did to me. Basically. For a guy that's awake on Modafidil, you're sleeping around a lot, huh? It's a good one. It's a good one. You had to have both at the same time. Why do you think that is? Why do you have a well, why do you have an insatiable appetite? The new girlfriend's not quite as exciting as the crazy Mexican ex? She actually saw me on Kill Tony and reached out to me. Wow. You okay. brought us together. Uh-huh. But she's like in love with Michael Lair. Right. Yeah. No, I love that. She's using me to get to Michael Lair. Okay. But she lives in Portland. And okay. so for a while it was just like us being like friends and shit. Uh-huh. And then it became like more I was gonna go up and see her, but I was having like friends with Benefits Wait, doesn't your Mexican exes doesn't wait, doesn't the I guy mean, that you, she was cheating on you with doesn't he live in Portland? No, that's another girl. Oh, this is the girl that I. This is all confusing yeah. now. There goes Ryan Joseph, yeah, everybody. Cool. There he goes, Ryan Joseph. Ryan. His last time on Kill Tony, he retired tonight. I wasn't even gonna tell him not to come back, but he did it. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Medafidil, everybody. Steer clear. I yeah. don't I don't believe don't it's FDA that. approved. Yeah. 
Anybody who believes in Medaffodil and not the coronavirus, maybe keep an eye on it. <laughs> Some of these episodes.